asking this question. It is your claim that the deputy president has amassed a humongous property portfolio estimated at 5.2 billion shillings. That's uh, ground four. It is not. So that. My apologies, ground seven. My apologies for that. I'm sorry for that. Ground seven at page 17. My apologies for that. Yes, it is our allegation, and we have justified it in our evidence in chief. Who gave you this value of 5.2 billion? We said estimated at 5.2 billion, and we have. Yes, who gave you that estimate value of 5.2 billion? We have made the additions. Sorry? It's a matter of additions. So, we will, you are saying that when we take you through these values, you'll get a property value of about 5.2 billion? Approximately 5.2 billion, yes. You said you made the additions. Additions result into a definite figure, Mr. Mutuse. Although you are a lawyer, mathematics are pre-qualification for studying law. <laughs> there, there, there are two things. One, there, there is the... Are you saying that when we do those additions, is, is we will get 5.2 billion? There is the stated value in the sale agreements and in the acquisition documents. That's what I'm saying. Are you saying when we add those values, we'll get 5.2 billion? I will also be telling you what, in my view, are the values of some of the properties? Oh, what, in your view, are the values of some of the properties? Yes. You have graduated from a lawyer to a valuer now, isn't it? That's not exactly what you're saying. OK, what thank you. Our view? Using what expertise did you attach that value in your view? Well, market value. I'm sure you also know land in Kitale, an acre goes for 4 million. Land in Kilifi, an acre goes for 2 million. And if it goes beyond that, it's a reasonable man's test. And that reasonable man is you? Indeed. Thank you. At paragraph 44, at page 18, yes. you have listed a company called Spiritway Limited in your motion. Yes? Number 18. Page 18. Paragraph 44. It's a continuation of ground seven. I'm, I'm doing ground seven now. Page 18. Spiritway Limited. What wrong are you saying that company has done anywhere on earth? What wrong? I did state, I listed these companies. No, no. I'm asking Spiritway Limited. What wrong are you saying Spiritway has committed anywhere on earth? These are companies that are associated with His Excellency regarding Gashagwa. His so, and what Gashagwa. wrong has Gashagwa committed through Spiritway Limited? I'm dealing with this one now. Spiritway Limited. What wrong has he done through this one? It is one of the companies that we reasonably suspect are convicts, are used as special purpose vehicles for corruption. So, what proceeds of corruption have passed through Spiritway Limited? How much? We have demonstrated the specific. No, no, I'm asking what proceeds of corruption have passed through Spiritway Limited as a particular company? In our evidence, we have not presented evidence against Spiritway. You have not? Yes. No, you know, in correct have... English, when I say you have not, you say no, we have not. You don't say yes. Okay. You have not presented evidence. We have not presented evidence. Thank you. Let's move to Fortis Vis Group Limited. What wrong has Fortis Vis Group Limited committed anywhere on earth? Forties number two on page eighteen, company number two. Sorry, For, we have not no, page with, eighteen of eighty five for volume one. No, we have no quarrel with forties. Sorry, we have no quarrel with forties. I didn't get answer. We have no quarrel with forties. You have no quarrel with forties vs Group Limited. We are done that. What is it doing in this motion, Mr. Mutuse? Decorative. It is one of the companies associated with His Excellency Rigadi Gashagwa. What is wrong with Fortis Vis Limited being associated with Rigadi Gashagwa? What is wrong with that? At the time of submissions, we'll be stating why we think there is something wrong. No, no, we want that question answered now so that we will submit on it. What wrong has Fortis Vis Group Limited committed anywhere on earth? Why would one person own 25 companies doing the same things? What law prohibits a person owning 25 companies? What I, I law? I think counsel for the deputy president. The Honorable Mutusi has said he has no quarrel with that company. Which is what? You know, Mr. Speaker, I made an opening statement. 
In my opening statement, I said we have allegations that was led from the false to the ridiculous to the embarrassing. If you just answer and I keep quiet, I'll fail to demonstrate the oscillation. I want these distinguished senators in their conscience to know what exactly we are doing here. Because they were given an 85-page motion to deal with. This is part of the content of 85 pages. Surely, Mr. Speaker, for Mr. Mutuse to tell these senators that he brought them this company just as a name, I don't know how dignified this house will feel, but if I sat where this house sits, I would feel that's undignifying. Proceed, counsel, with uh, your cross-examination. So you say one person should not own 22 companies, isn't it? I've said I do not have... No, no, you've said so. That's your answer. I, should I, don't, I don't have problems with 40s. That's correct. Who are the shareholders of 40s? 40s is Kevin Regadi and Keith Ikino Regadi. The only crime being they are children of Rigadi Gashago. Indeed, they are children of Rigadi Gashago. Are they prohibited as children of Rigadi Gashago from holding shares in a company? As proxies. Are they prohibited from holding shares in a company? Not at all. So what proxy business has 40s with limited done? Because you keep saying as proxies. What proxy business has 40s with group limited done? I have already stated that we do not have any problem with 40s. But you have put it in your impeachment motion to support one of your grounds. It is there. Without any problem with it. It is there, and we have stated the reasons why it is there. Grand Pi Bypass Apartments Limited. What problem do you have with it? We do not have a problem with it. This company that you have listed, you have no problem with it? We do not have a problem with it. But you have put it as one of the grounds in your impeachment motion. It is one of the companies associated with Rigadi Gashagwa. And there is, it, there is no problem with listing and saying, I am focusing on this one and I am not focusing on this one. Paragraph, no, parag page 19. Company number five, the Anansi Collective. What problem do you have with it? You are skipping Vipingo and Kuroito. You want to control my cross examination? No, I just Honorable want... Mutose, just respond to what counsel does. Anansi Collective, we do, not have, we do not have problems with that one. Biovet Kenya Limited, what problem do you have with it? No, not, 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 uh, we do not have a problem with it. Calvary Creed International Limited, what problem do you have with it? We do not have a problem with it. Cosmia Venture Limited, what problem do you have with it? We do not have a problem with it. But we have a problem with number Delta De Delia Merchants Limited, what problem do you have with it? Not at all. But we have a problem with Wipingo Beach. Let me go to Wipingo Beach because you appear excited to go there. Who owns Wipingo Beach? My Just answer my question. Who owns Vipingo Beach? I need to, I need to check my CR troughs. Show us the volume that you're checking for us to look at together. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I wouldn't mind a time indication of how much time I've spent. Vipingo Beach on volume 2A, page 18. You spent 40 minutes of the two hours, and ad Thank there's you. an additional 10 minutes for Thank the, you. Uh, uh, when we had a problem with the video. Thank you so much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Give us the page number kindly. Page number 18 of 123, volume 2A. Yes, proceed. Who owns the Pingo Beach? Keith Ikino Rigadi, Kevin Gashagwa Rigadi, and the estate of the deceased James Derito Gashagwa. Let me go back to the beginning. You're a lawyer by profession. Yes, I am. You know the meaning of ownership of a company? Yes, I do. How is ownership of a company manifested? In shareholding and then... Okay. How many shares does Keith Ikinu Regadi hold? According to your own exhibit. <laughs> it 
may be getting hotter, but look at the document, compose yourself, and read. How many shares does yeah. Kate Ekenu regard the hold according to your own document? They are not indicated. How many shares does Kevin Gashagwa regard the hold according to your own exhibit? They are not indicated. What is the total number of shares in that company? 10,000. Who is indicated as owning all those 10,000 shares? There is a shareholding by the estate of the deceased James Nderito Gashagwa. It is the estate of the deceased James Nderito Gashagwa. True or not true? They own 10,000 shares. What is the total number of shareholding? 10,000. They own all the shares? They own 10,000 shares. What is the total number of shares in that company? 10,000. So they own all the shares. The estate of the late James Nderito Gashagwa owns all the shares according to your document. It would appear so. Is it so or is it not so? From your own document? It, uh, on the face of the document, it would appear so. Do you doubt this document you have given us? No, I don't doubt it. Thank you. The deputy president then in defense says, uh, this is a property owned by the state of my late brother. Is he speaking the truth or not? From your own document? We... The deputy president says, this is a company owned by the estate of my late brother. Looking at your own document, is the deputy president saying the truth or is he not saying the truth? The estate, Remember, you are a lawyer all the, the time. Estate, the estate of the deceased James Derito Gashagwa owns 10,000 shares. Out of how many shares? I would vouch for the truthness of the deputy president's I'm saying testament. the estate of the late James Nderito Gashagwa owns 10,000 shares out of how many? 10,000. Mr. Mutusa, you told me you are a lawyer. Yes. And let's be lawyers now. Yes. When the deputy president therefore says this company is wholly owned by the estate of my deceased brother, is he speaking the truth or not according to your document? It's either yes or no. We make progress. We move, Honorable Mutusa. Yes. Thank you so much. You had begun by telling us you have a problem with this company. You have a problem with the estate of the deceased owner holding all the shares in the company? No, we do not have a problem with that. From your company law knowledge, do you know the role of directors in a company? Yes, I do. What directors play in a company? They make, they Direct. Directors are management. They manage. They direct the management. Correct. The, the leadership. What is wrong with these two boys managing this company on behalf of the shareholders who are disclosed? What is wrong against the law? There is nothing wrong. Okay. The value of this hotel is part of your 5.2 billion. True or not true? It is. Are you willing to deduct it now from that? Because you can now see who owns it. At the appropriate time, we will show. Are you willing to deduct it? No. Thank you. So I was proceeding for you stop me to deal with you, Pingo, and I've dealt with it. I hope to your satisfaction. Are you satisfied? We can proceed. Heartland Supplies Limited, what problem do you have with it? Mm, if you could remind us, that was page? Oh, sorry, page 20 of 85, company number 14. Volume 1, eh? Volume 1, volume 1, yes. Uh, can you move Compa the Company number? Number 14. Company number 14, just to confirm we are on the same page, this is Heartland Supplies Limited. Yes. We have no quarrel with Heartland Supplies. Page 21, paragraph 17, Mothers of the Land Limited, what problem do you have with it? We have no quarrel with Mothers of the Land. Number 18, Pioneer Medical Kenya Limited, what problem do you have with it? We don't have a problem with it. Overleaf, page 22. Read of Furniture Mart Limited. What problem do you have with it? We do not have a problem with it. Royal Crimson Ventures Limited. What problem do you have with it? No, no, not at all. Technical Supplies Lim and Services Limited. What problem do you have with it? We do not have a problem with it.
you listed all these companies just to create a screaming headline for your motion with no problem with them. We created, we listed all these companies to show that they are associated with persons close to the deputy president and that they are companies that are either used or can potentially be used for purposes of corruption and money laundering. Okay, they can potentially be used. The DP intends to use them in future, so this motion is preventive. Indeed, we are addressing fears. You have come here to address fears that DP may use this company in the future to commit corruption? Indeed, yes. That's why you want this Senate to impeach the DP on this ground? We have also shown... Now that's why you want this Senate eh, to impeach the DP on this ground? There are, there are some that we have shown have been I'm, used, I've, I've, I've taken through a number others, of companies, Mr. Mutuse. I've taken a number of companies, yes. but one by one. Yes. You have said you have no problem with them. We have no problem with the ones that we have said we have no problem with. Let's go to paragraph 70. Eight A. Seventy eight A. 